I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, James Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. They got a great uh, game and a request on the USS Black. That is an American Tier 9 destroyer. And right now we're going to see some action right here. Taking on the Utik, or sorry, the Kitakaze. And you can see he did a uh, major mistake there, rushing in with no backup, whatever, uh, more of a suicidal shot. And then here's the power of the, the USS Black before I get into, you know, why I like it, the pros and cons. But really just watch what it's doing right here. It's a really big... I would say pro in the sense of what it can do is cap spot torp radar destroy destroyers if you will and also take on almost anything that you can throw at it so as you can see right now <clears throat> we just took out the first kit Kaze, and then while we're backing in to hopefully slow down this airship now we're in airships right now so my my strategy here is to see if i can not only speed up our airship, but also slow theirs down. So I'm going to back right into, uh, for uh, back into the airship to slow it down. Now, the reason being is so I can run out of uh, the, the area if I need to by going full speed. Now here we go. We got the Kagero rushing in again, also as well. And uh, well, look, he goes undetected, but guess what? We have radar. We go ahead and pop it, and we reveal his position. So he's pretty much dead. And it is the, I like the guns. It's essentially a Fletcher style uh, destroyer, and I like that. It's really good, fast firing reload rate. The way I built for it, it's really awesome. And he goes down as well. That's the power of the black right there on taking on destroyer. So let's get back to the main event. Uh, we are playing another role of airships here with the USS Black, and uh, you can see right here, the guns are amazing. I mean, they're they're just Fletcher guns. They're not nothing to, you know gloat about. Nothing fancy. Nothing just basic, small single barrel caliber guns. But we get not only smoke, but you also get the radar cap uh, compliment if you want to do that well actually that's the only compliment you can do uh smoke radar that's why it was so overpowered back in the day where you would just smoke up radar and destroy any kind of destroyer that's in the area uh, but what you're also seeing is the ability for it to sit and smoke for a long time american smoke screens last a very long time and also not only shoot in the smoke but you can torp uh, in the smoke i think the, the the biggest all aspect of the black as well is it's this torps they're now those slow little sea mines if you want to call them that's what they people have been saying. They're so slow. Literally, they go slower than some, you know, destroyers slash cruisers. I mean, they go, I think they only go like 40-something, maybe 50 knots. But look how they slow they're going. But the reason is, is their concealment is super, super small. I believe it's only like point, I think, 8 uh, on the detection where you can't see these things coming until all of a sudden they're there. And then you can see this battleship just really couldn't do anything about it. And boom, takes two. And look at all the damage that it takes on right there. About almost 26,000, 30,000 damage. It is insane what these little sea mines that are just slowly moving across the map. And the range is incredible. I mean, they're going out to 13.7 uh, kilometers, which is awesome. And then we get, okay, now we get revealed right here. Somebody calls us out. Thank you, teammate. Teammates are really good at communicating here. They have a Yu Yang pop out of nowhere. And then watch what I do. The guns. And then, boom, pop radar. Reveal position, that's the strategy right there. Uh, really, the Yu Yang just cannot sustain uh, this amount of damage as well as a radar. He used a smoke Yu Yang, which I recommend we're doing more of a radar Yu Yang. But again, boom, splash one RV back to 40. 
Uh, that is one of the downsides of having smoke because you have so many radar things out there nowadays. The black is one of them. And that's why I like running the radar build Yu Yang, radar build uh, uh, black, as you can see right here. Because of that reason right there, because people think they're safe in smoke when ultimately they all of a sudden get revealed and they're done. And so now we're getting out of dodge here, we're running while we pop smoke. And look at the dispersion time. Look how long it takes to pop this smoke. American smoke screens are awesome for that reason. That's why the black is really, really powerful in that regard. It can lay down a wall of smoke. It can also sit in that smoke for a long period of time. Look at the timer for the smoke. Two minutes and five seconds right at this moment right here. That is a ridiculous amount of time to be in smoke. And while you're in smoke, if you want to all of a sudden spot a DD in the area, boom, radar 7.5 kilometers, and then you go to town with guns. Again, one of the most powerful aspects of this ship is really the concealment, 5.8, smoke, radar, it's got everything. I mean, I was very, I guess you say underestimating the power of what the black can really do, and it is just a, a, an insane monster uh, when it comes to that. And it's almost, I would say, the levels of vampire, because really, you could do what the vampire kind of does, where you can slowly creep along with your long dispersion time of smoke as well as the long lasting smoke and then you radar 7.5 kilometers which is even longer than a vampire's hydro hydro only goes out to five via zf52 only goes to six you have a long duration radar it goes out to 7.5 so that's really really yeah powerful so we're going to take on the ohio here i only elect to shoot after i know this guy's almost dead so we're going to help look at the guns like they're shooting they're taking off about what 800 Five, four, five hundred. I mean, little chunks at a time is really good. <clears throat> and now we're also going to shoot at the good old uh, FDG, I believe. No, yeah, FDG. So look, the FDG, the guns are not nothing to, to glock about because look, in the smoke, nobody can see us. We're going to shoot long range, nice arcs. As long as you aim correctly, boom, splash two RP back to board. He goes down, and that is how we do it in the map. Now, no more kills for us, so that's the game. Um, it's pretty much over, but. Let's talk about some of the things. Uh, the black was available for a the USS Black. Um, I think it was like some kind of commencement thing that they had. I think a few months ago. Uh, you should, if you guys just join, it's too late. It's over now. But if you guys didn't take advantage of it, recommend you do uh, or did back in the day. That's why I was trying to gloat and say, hey, you got to get the black right now. It's really, really awesome. I don't know if it's going to be back anytime soon. I don't know if they're available in containers. I haven't really said anything. But man, you guys should really try to. Anytime you get these opportunities that are veteran players, they definitely try to get the ships that are not going to be there for a limited time because they are removed because they're so powerful. Uh, don't break the bank or spend so much money on it. I don't think you should spend that much money on digital items like this. Again, you can do whatever you want. My opinion is I don't want to spend money on stuff like this. Um, but if I do deem that, hey, this is worth it, it's for enjoyment, it gives me pleasure and joy to do videos and have fun, then yeah, I'll spend a little money just like you would spend money on a roller coaster ride or an amusement park, right? It's how you spend your money. But that is your business. I'm just telling you what I do. And really, I take advantages of things like a small one or a black or anything that has radar, destroyer, guns, stuff like that. I, I'm willing to put an investment out there to make it so I can do great, make great content, have fun, uh, enjoyment for me personally. And it's really a, a good ship to have later in clan battles or rank or whatever that is. Uh, and it's really powerful. Now, look at these destroyers. This, uh, uh, what is it? The Sun Yuntan, that new ship. It's like a, a Pan-Asian uh, Georgia, by the way. You can't see it, and then all of a sudden, boom, it hits it's a torpedo. I mean, those torpedoes are really, really sneaky, and that's exactly why I like them so much. And they're very, very powerful. So let's talk about, again, what are the pros and cons of the black? Well, the con, right off the bat, it's a tier 9. doesn't have as much HP, and the guns are kind of, you know, Fletcher guns. They're really, really weak. I wish they were dual barrel. If they're a dual barrel, yeah, get the Yu Yang. It's like a, gear, a gearing. Uh, the Yu Yang is a uh, Pan Asian gearing with radar. That's pr pretty much it. The, this is a tier nine Fletcher with radar, uh, and it does the same, pretty much the same thing. But the, the torpedoes are incredible. I mean, they sneak up on ships like crazy, and you just gotta time them right. You get a good spread. Like I fire one there on tar on the uh, the target indicator, and one in front of it. So ships either will speed up or slow down into it. And then the guns are powerful. You get the smoke combination with radar, which is a very, very powerful gimmick. Uh, something that's uh, really uh, a, a very interesting tactic to do. But anyways, look at the guns right here shooting on the GK at the very end. And it'll look at that. It'll just take off a lot. If you shoot your superstructure, it really destroys them pretty quick. But that is my thoughts on how now the USS Black was. Someone requested it. That's how I use it, how I play it. I think it's a powerful thing in airships. Very powerful in randoms and rank. But let me know your thoughts on what you think of the Black. Is it still powerful to this day? And what do you think on how to use it? But hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until then, on our way to 1,000 subscribers, thank you guys enough. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.